Hello and welcome to this armor free video series. I'm going to be playing a liberation map set on the island of Tanoa, the new map provided with the Apex update. I'm going to be doing a mostly single player, somewhat co op campaign with the AI against the AI um, across the entire island. This is a conversion of the Liberation map on to Noah, and I'm playing a variant of that that I've changed to use just British Armed Forces technology, or thereabouts, where possible. Um, I've got a number of mods on here, I've got the uh, Free Commando Brigade mods, I've got the LHD mod, I've got a, a, a few uh, four gigs worth of mods on this. Plenty and plenty of mods, so including all all the cup units, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm currently playing a special boat service operative. And for those who haven't seen Liberation before, the first thing I need to do is get that crate over to that island, so I can set up a forward operating base for my units, so that I can build units, set up defenses. Um, and generally get started with the operation of taking over this entire island. The sort of backstory is that I'm playing a special boat service character who is going to be assaulting the island alongside Royal Marine Commandos and Special Forces support groups from the HMS Albion over here. And the first objective is Operation Dust Demon. Phase 1 will be setting up a forward operating base, as I said earlier. Um, that's going to be up in this little town here, which is going to be a pain in the ass to do the landing, so you might just want to skip Phase 1 entirely. I'll put up a prompt on the YouTube video. And instead, buzz right over to Phase 2, which is seizing the port of Comac. That's going to be a Special Forces Commando operation to take over that town. Um, then we'll be moving on to Assault the Airfield. That'll be um, a combined, probably about platoon size, depending on how much manpower I can scrape together. And after that, I'll be going on to clear this town, and that will set up a nice beachhead, which we could use for taking over the rest of this little bit of the archipelago, um, this connected island, and then on to the rest of the island. Yes, this is going to be quite a long-term campaign, probably going to take weeks, if not months. So step number one. Let's get in this vehicle, grab the forward operating base and get out of here. I may require a few attempts at this because I am not a very good pilot. I hate giant vehicles because they are incredibly difficult to pilot and just generally it's quite difficult to land one of these things in a tiny tiny space in a little village. We'll see how I go. As you can see, uh, Royal Air Force uh, Merlin, I believe. I've gone to some effort to make sure that all of this is reasonably accurate. Um, if the sound levels are off, not much I can do about it. Uh, there's no earplugs on this, and I've got everything roughly set to full. Um, I won't know if they're incorrect until we, at least after I've fail, uh, done phase one of this. Um, I realise, obviously, this isn't uh, actually the... Whoa! I fucking hate auto-hover. What the hell are you doing, you stupid, stupid thing? Oh my word. Right, that's why we don't use auto-hover. Um, yes, I realise that this isn't actually the HMS uh, Albion. It is a Wasp-class US carrier, but, you know, that's what I have available, so that's what we're going to use. No, 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 no! Come back here! Uh, I will be providing various skip prompts for the particularly boring bits like this, or I'll just cut them out entirely, especially if I fail them completely. I apologise for my total lack of helicopter skills up front. Um, hopefully when I take off with this, it, the crate isn't going to go flying into those little birds over there, because that would be embarrassing. Hey, we're good. Okay. And I should probably pull up the landing gear, like, a long time ago. 
Um, I'm playing this on my new fancy PC. It is a Radeon Pro Duo. Um, it is AMD's best processor. It is not a slouch, this machine. I've also got separate hardware video processing, so I should be getting decent enough frame rates, even with this gorgeous view. Um, getting 30 frames per second at the moment. And with the mod, uh, the map, it should adjust automatically to try and keep it around 30. Um, 30 is not ideal, but you know, I'm playing this on super pretty, so I will accept the sacrifice. The plan now is to drop this crate off near that village that I stated earlier, not get shot at by that airbase over there, which is that bit there. I have no idea where the AA is going to be set up, um, because it's the start of the campaign. You'll notice over on the right there's a little exclamation mark at 0%. That basically means that the enemy readiness is at 0%. They're not that worried about us yet, they don't really know what we're here for. Um, they haven't deployed defences in any kind of appropriate manner, so don't have to worry too much. Oh, and again, by the way, I am going to be doing some incredibly stupid manoeuvres in this helicopter because I cannot fly these for shit. Um, that's the last time I'm going to apologise for it, but I'm fully expecting to drop this crate in the sea because I'm an absolute douche when it comes to flying this. And I am going way too fast, way too fast, way too fast. And the crate is stopping me from properly slowing down it's a giant fuck off crate on a giant fuck off helicopter and it's meant for a professional pilot to be doing this and there's that tiny little area that I'm actually intending to drop this in which is going to be incredibly difficult oh god oh god no 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 stop the crate oh god every time the crate swings it modifies your balance and makes the chuffing helicopter go flying all over the place so every single little maneuver I do, there's a counter swing, and I'm doing this. Oh god, I'm doing this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm doing this on a mouse and keyboard, so I'm basically just a catastrophic failure when it comes to these helicopter operations. I much prefer the flight model of armor because a small child could easily pilot anything. Now that it's actually, oh shit, halfway realistic. I'm not nearly so good at it. Yeah, thanks for that computer. Uh, God, no, 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 no. Right, there we are. Fucking hell, this is difficult. Right, let's level her out. That's not leveling her out at all. That's doing the exact opposite of that. Um, oops. Very, very, very gently. Gently as a feather. There we go. Right, engine off, out of the vehicle, and let's set up this FOB. I need to remember to set it up near the water, at least reasonably close to the water, because I'm going to want to set up the FOB so I can build boats from it. You know, being special boat service, I'm going to be using boats. And this being a bunch of archipelago islands, I quite like boat operations. They make a nice change from the Americans' um, air assaults. You see a lot of air assault type things. Um, uh, U.S. Marine Corps air assaults, airborne operations with the whatever airborne division. I want a little bit of a change of pace from that. So I'll we'll plonk this down a little close to the town, somewhere behind a little bit of defilade. Um, and then it'll probably get blown up from sea, knowing my luck. We'll see what happens. Uh, I think we're far enough away from the island that they won't be able to shoot it. I mean, that would be a pretty terrible outcome if that were to happen, but we'll see. There we go. Right, I'm now going to set up the FOB, so it's going to fade into having all this set up with the new platoons and stuff. I've got um, an AI command mod on here that will allow me to move uh, troops using the map, which is going to make things way better. So I shall catch you in a second. Welcome back. So I just realised the moment the sound was working. Ah, time clever. 
Um, for the first part of this operation, we set up the FOV over there. For the second part, we're going to be seizing this port town of Kumak. I'm assuming that's Kumak. It could be Kawak. It could be all kinds of things. But anyway, this is going to be a boat operation to seize a port. So I'm going to make sure that nobody uh, does any firing before they're supposed to. Um, I also want to make sure that everybody is reasonably stealthy. And it's worth noting that the AI is absolutely abysmal when it comes to driving boats, so hopefully we won't end up with this operation being aborted because the AI is incredibly dumb. assault the airfield. Now the AI in this is particularly difficult. I have got the AI set up to use all kinds of prints like smoke grenades and expression and flanking um, no, barricade buildings which makes urban combat particularly difficult. So what I may end up doing is dropping onto the island and getting back on the boats, going around the side and staging a second assault after the first bit here, saving the second assault on the town here um, from a double location like over here. I am a bit worried about that airfield, I don't want to incidentally uh, get shot up from there. There could be anti-air and I'm not going to be calling in any mortar strikes or anything like that, uh, any air support unless I can be absolutely sure there's no AA in the area and that no civilians are going to be hit. Um, priority here because if I kill civilians it will be potentially a lot harder. The enemy will uh, greatly lose their readiness uh, The enemy in this can counterattack, so once I seize these, you'll notice over here I've got um, a section of troops protecting that area. Um, that section of commandos will later be Orders, but for now they're actually protecting the FOB to make sure all the different types of sneak control. So I don't think those attacks are going to happen in the middle of the zone because it's a good practice to get into. I'm going down to the event of this area of tree and I'm going to try to attack. By the way, there is a control for the third line of the sneak this bit and just going to get straight into the action. You'll um, notice it's kind of cloudy. Uh, 
special phone service um, characters that I'm using are from the SE mod. The Royal Marine Commandos are from the Marine Commando Brigade. Commando Brigade, and although I do have the Trump units on here as well. Um, I've got a Challenger mod in here, I think I can cut uh, Warriors. Um, so yeah, there's a good, good mix of really slowly when it's in stealth mode, which for now is fine because I really want to creep up on this port, but it can get annoying. Um, I'm not sure as well whether, no, these guys aren't equipped with silencers by default, which isn't entirely surprising, um, but it does mean that we might find ourselves. Seven, fall back. Three, fall back. We're getting in a world of hurt if we have to suddenly open fire on anyone. Shouldn't happen. Um, I will be planning to attack quite slowly and methodically, particularly whilst I've only got a small number of units. Later on when we got company sized forces it's not so much a problem. But, um, the map prevents me from doing that. Really? You killed yourself getting out of the boat? Really? Really? You useless, useless useless person. You're supposed to be a Royal Marine Commander and you died getting out of a boat. We're not even going to mourn you. You're not even getting a burial, mate. You are hopeless. Anyway. Moving on past the... Oh god, damn, one of them's stuck as well. Right, fine. We'll pick him up later. I'm not going to stop this entire attack just because the AI is completely moronic. But yes, once we've got platoon-sized forces, it'll probably move a lot swifter. I might be um, deploying sections to take towns by themselves. I spy a vehicle over there. Contact car, 400 meters east. Yes. But is it a technical or is it a civilian car? Is the question. I'm taking from the ready to fire that that is not a friendly vehicle. Oh, that is a machine gun that's ready to fire. Oh, and there's a truck. That's a civilian truck, definitely. Um, you'll notice at the bottom I've got the Shack Tactical um, fire team display. That's quite handy, it lets you know where your guys are relative to you. It's not a particularly advanced mode, but it has saved my bacon so many times. Mm. I think we should be good to engage. Fire at will! going off there, but I can't see any explosions, or hear an explosion, more to the point. Um, I'm not currently using the Blast Core or JSA-FRS sound and visual mods. Um, that's just because they take ages to download and you can't get them through Steam, so I've got them hooked up separately, which is going to be on some of the later videos. I'll have all of that enabled so you get better sound and better. Um, audio and I'll actually fix the levels and stuff. We've got an enemy. It'll be nice. 80 soldier, 400 meters. East. I've got a visual. 400 meters. Due east. Oh, 
Oh, that was mildly embarrassing. Uh, well, we haven't lost anything yet. That's a good start. There's a lot of people to our east. I'm hoping that's not going to be a uh, persistent problem here. I'm hoping to just kind of stroll through this bit and then worry about sniping off the people on the eastern side. But it looks like there's a risk we might actually get pinned down here, which is not good. In which case, I probably want to move a fire team up on Overwatch just to reduce the pain Six, generally. Seven, eight. 75 meters, right. Two, move three hundred meters. Stop, Back. Two, four back. I don't like not having a good ball in the fire in a situation like this. Just like I don't know where the enemies are. One, one problem with using the AI on the team is that they're not particularly communicative. I mean, I'd love to have them pointing out exactly where the enemies were and telling me if they're taking too much fire or whatever. Um, and, you know, actually moving up on my position would be nice, given that I've them to move in formation, but apparently we're not going to get that. So, there you go. Right, it's very difficult with the AI, particularly on uh, this stealth mode, to get them to do anything Swiftly. Three, five. Stay sharp. And that can be a problem. I just imagine. Six, seven, eight. Stay sharp. That was an awfully close sound uh, track that I just got there. Like I say, the mods that I've got from the, these buildings will likely have enemies in them, um, making the whole affair of taking a place like this a lot more difficult than it would otherwise be with the armor AI. I really wish they'd move up. You can't get any initiative when bloody troops move so slowly. There we go. Really, you're hitting each other. That's just embarrassing. Uh, ooh, right, there's still some guys across the water. Get them back in a second. What are we shooting at? Now, one problem with Tenoa is a fantastic map, but one problem it has is that the AI is exceptionally good at seeing through leaves, as in they just don't care about leaves whatsoever. Probably just at the cost of actually calculating any of that. Really, really, the bullets are just going to go through him. So, because of the cost associated with uh, ray tracing all the shots, the way it handles jungle shooting is very abstract, not very good, which means that an entire jungle, the AI will have a nasty habit of just magically creeping up on you, and instantly, or not spawning you at all, and there's no particular rhyme or reason to why. Man! 300 meters! East! And anymore. Okay, let's move some of my forces down into this area so that they can 
uh, point the weapon somewhere useful. Six, seven, eight, move 75 meters, right. There we go. Come on. Thank you. Now, uh, if we have hopefully cleared that out, I may be able to take the assault. Maybe I'll we'll take the assault. Um, and hopefully not have any of resolved in the process. There, yeah, I'm dead. More bullets just to be sure. I really wish I could figure out what that teammate's shooting at. Uh, some movement over there. Or possibly just flickering textures. Um, We've got an enemy! Man! 400 meters northeast. Ready. No, really, there are enemies here. I am so shocked. Uh, Truck, 300 meters east. Soldier, okay, 200 meters. Run. Fuck. Where's he? He's in that building. That's a very, very orange truck. Holy shit. those guys to overwatch from that position and we will head back to the boats. Take the boats into the town, try and clear the town. Once we've done that, we're going to be moving up into the airfield and seizing an airbase. And it's going to be pretty fucking ninja. Uh, that commando force up there is going to move down across this area here and try and support us. Once we take that airfield, that will unlock the F-35B Lightning. However, because the FOB doesn't yet exist, I'd have to taxi the F-35 to the airstrip. I also don't have nearly the level of uh, ammunition required to do that. It's going to be a long time before I can actually purchase, um, afford an F-35B with the way this map works. And why is the boat in the middle of the fucking ocean? Pretty sure I didn't leave it there. So it should be a fairly simple mop up operation from here. I will move that boat back into the sea properly so that the air. Uh, seriously, how do you get yourself killed on a rubber boat like that? Dude, you are hopeless. Seriously, seriously, they managed to beach the boat. For fuck's sake. Well, I could possibly tow it out using the other one, although it would help if the other one wasn't in the middle of a chopping ocean. Get the other AI out of the way. Um, as usual, there will be a skip button for all of this Two, bullshit. Three, five, move left. That's going to be a theme here. Skip the bollocks that shouldn't be happening. Ready. But um, it is a somewhat imperfect right simulation. I legitimately have no idea what that thing up in the top right is, where it says six. I have not a clue what that means. Attached to tow ropes. Perfect. It. Move the vehicle closer. Great. Okay. The plan is later to do some uh, co-op things and stuff like this. Should be much more easily solved than this. I mean, I could just edit it out, but uh, we'll see. Leave an opinion in the comments whether you think I should edit this kind of shit out or not. The tow rope mod is a really cool mod, advanced towing mod. Um, I've got various things like this on here. Um, I've got a repelling mod. I've got a repelling down buildings mod, which I think are all made by the same guy. So uh, we may have some 
deployments of AI from helicopter happening that way whilst I go off and do recon-y things. Oh, you are shitting me. How close do you need to be? It's fine. Assault boats are something that the AI really doesn't do very well. So, we turn to the inner object, or we get in there. On the plus side, all this fun thing about the thing. Hello, welcome back. It turns out the AI is incredibly stupid when it comes to boats, and we just detect the stupidity that I've never even seen from it before. So, no more of that. With any luck, yeah, this should just be a simple case of strolling through that town, given that we already eliminated quite a number of their forces earlier. But we'll see. See, look again. Definitely didn't Six, tell them to park seven, there. Eight, nine, Only closer than ten, that. Also, right. my boat's Standing just kind of floating away. But, um, come on. All right, swim then. Six. Seven, eight, oh, nine, now ten, ten. dismount. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Move Thank back. Thank you. Well, at least we can figure out how to swim. So, in between at moments of AI stupidness, which I assume are going to kind of punctuate what we're doing here, we should actually be Hold able to fire. get a decent ish assault going. I'm thinking I move one of them up into the woods and then down into the town. That should work nicely. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Front. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Team red. 
two, three, four, five. Team Green. Three, five, stealth. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, stealth. Two, four, four back. Soldier, 100 meters, right up ahead. Annoyingly, the scope that I'm using doesn't support night vision, so I'm gonna have to do that by hand. If we're really quiet, I might even be able to sneak up to those rocks over there before we engage, which would be nice. Otherwise, gonna have to use this death lane in these trees to deal with these buildings and then just rush through the town and try and deal with them as quickly as possible. On the move. Go, go. Contact rifleman. 75 meters. Just up ahead. On the move. Cover me. Target in sight. On the move. You'd have shot that guy, move. have you? Really, given where he's standing. Apparently not. Cover me. Probably want to Man, shoot out some of these lights right. when the engagement begins as well. Otherwise, they're just going to light us right up. Move out on the move. They know the nonsense. Covering fire. Contract. AT soldier, 75 minutes to the right of us. Team Red, danger. Team Red, fire at will. Team Red, move 100 meters, front. Copy that! Fire at will! Scratch one. Eyes on target. I think I may have just accidentally taken down. Oh no, the city's fine. Good. Contact, soldier, 100 meters. Just up ahead. Contact, man. 100 meters. Just up ahead.
the <laughs> advanced AI is really doing a number on my bloody troops. Ah, it does not want that bloody city vehicle coming and lights up all my guys. Meters, right up ahead. Contact technical, seventy five meters, just up ahead. <laughs> Not even taking her to see yet. Um, little force for a village that wasn't expecting to contact be for mobile. Took a few losses, but you know, I've had worse. He's hit. Two, three, move back. Right, let's take prisoners and wrap this up so that we can support the attack. Oh shit! There's an M wrap. So in the Liberation map mod, there are POWs. You get POWs when you take towns, and POWs are absolutely essential to finding out necessary intel to do some of the more interesting missions. The odds that they have surrendered seems very, very slow. Oh, 